Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to take a look at how to make a cheap water pump. So let's go over some of the supplies we're going to use. First, we're going to get some kind of container. So in this case, we're going to use a mason jar. We're going to make a small air pump, but the process is the same for the rest of it. Next, you'll need some air hose. A drill bit about the same size as the air hose. A drill a charged battery for your drill, a T for the air hose, and a hot glue gun. Oh, and last but not least, a check valve. Very important. So now we have all our materials together, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our lid back on our mason jar. That's just to hold it tight while we're drilling it. So take your drill bit, go ahead and put it in your drill, and then drill three holes in the lid of the jar. So now that we've got that, kind of clean up your mess. That way you don't cut yourself. So take the lid with the three holes and what we're going to do is take a drill bit or something and just kind of wire the holes out a little bit. It's going to be pretty tight so this helps keep it from snagging the air hose and knocking a hole in it. And now you're going to want to take the lid and the air hose and try to shove it through the hole. So we'll speed this up real quick because it takes a little while. Note that one of the hoses is considerably shorter than the other. This will be your air hose. So now that we've got it placed, we want to take a pair of scissors and cut um, just underneath the lid. So our T needs to be as close to the top as we can get it. And then go ahead and use the piece that you cut off and stick it to the bottom. Now we want this to go all the way to the bottom, but we don't want it to touch the bottom. So we're gonna get a, a pretty good look at it here, and then we're gonna cut it off just above the base of the jar. This way, water can easily get into it, but we get as much water as we can. So next, we're gonna take another piece of hose and put it on the T portion. And we want this hose to be able to go all the way to the bottom and then loop all the way back up to the top without kinking. This is very important. So get that measurement and cut it. So this is the basic structure of the inside of our pump. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the jar. Now when we put it in the jar, we want to make sure that that looped piece of hose goes all the way to the top. So go ahead and put the lid part on. And then we want to tighten it down really tight. Remember we want all this to be airtight. So after you get that, go ahead and take your hot glue gun and just rim around where the hoses go into the lid. This will keep it airtight as well. And wait for it to dry. So the hose without the T on it is the hose that will be going into our pump. And take a pair of scissors and cut it just above the lid. This is where we'll place our check valve. We need to make sure that our orientation is going into the jar and not the other direction. The check valve will keep the air from pushing the water out the wrong hose. And that's pretty much it. Let's go test it out. So we went ahead and primed the pump, which meant that we got the siphon started and filled the jar up to the top with water. Now watch what happens when we add air. We'll speed it up a little bit because this is a slow process with this small pump. 
So as the air pushes the water out and into the cup on the left, the water inside the jar will go down until it hits the bottom. And right about here, you'll see it burp. And so now the outlet hose is filled with air and the siphon can continue until the jar is refilled. So this is a pretty slow process as well, so we can go ahead and speed it up a little bit. You can see the water siphoning back into the jar and the water level in the jar rising up. With bigger hoses and bigger containers, this goes much faster. I built one out of a bucket today, so let's go have a look and see what we can do with bigger hoses and a bigger container. So this is a regular five gallon bucket and it's got an airtight lid on it. This one has a pop down lid with a screw on it, so it is airtight. And the innards are basically the same as the small one. Here you see we have a inlet hose with a check valve and an outlet hose and then a cup that acts the same way as the tube that goes to the top. So we wanna make sure that we have this screwed all the way down real nice and tight. That way it's airtight and we don't lose any air. So we'll get it all hooked up. This is the inlet hose and we'll go ahead and drop that down in the water. And now we'll grab the outlet hose and what we wanna do is go ahead and get a siphon started. So I'll just go ahead and suck the air out of the bucket and it should get the siphon started. It takes me a couple tries so we can speed it up. Now that I'm pretty sure we have the siphon started, we can go ahead and plug in the air pump. And now we just have to wait for the bucket to fill up from the siphon. So we can speed this up. Not much to see here. Once the bucket gets close to full, the water will start coming out and the siphon will shut off. We can go ahead and speed this up too while the bucket empties. You can see how it pumps fairly well. So when it gets to the end, you'll see air come out of the outlet hose and then the whole process will start all over again. So that's it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can figure out a way to use this. Uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.